Yo, what's going on guys? Back in the latest video. So today, we have another Chrono Toys mystery box for you guys. This is again the $35 damage mystery box with six pots per box. Been doing pretty good with them recently, so hopefully that continues with this. Hopefully we get the best thing, and it's the best box yet. So let's open it up and see what we got. Here we go. Alright guys, so before we open this box up, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're not already a YouTube subscriber to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below so you're updated to my most recent content. So like I said, this is a $35 damage mystery box from Chrono Toys with six pops per box and uh, potential to get a grail. So let's open these up. They're going to have some slight damage on them, but hopefully not too, too bad, and we can get something good and decently valued in here so let's do these one by one and see what we got so here is the first pop okay so this is a gold chrome demigorgon um i'm not a huge stranger things fan or a gold chrome fan so this isn't my favorite pop i have pulled this before in the past um but yes uh san diego comic-con i think the damage on that is that sticker is appealing a little bit which isn't a huge deal um, but still, uh, some people don't like that at all. Uh, but this was exclusive to Target, I believe, for San Diego Comic-Con. Um, it's a cool one if you're into uh, Stranger Things. I still need to finish um, the second and third season of Stranger Things. The first one was eh, but I've heard that it gets better. So I will give it another chance eventually. But this pop is, oh, actually it was exclusive to Barnes & Noble, so I'm completely wrong. Um, let me look this up on Pop Price Guy because I scanned it on the Funko app. And I'm getting the wrong price as usual. The gold chrome one is going for 20 bucks. So for a $35 damage mystery box, um, pretty good. You know, already starting off really well. Only need to get $15 back in value, and we have five pops to go. So that's only three bucks each. I think we can do that. So let's pull the second pop and see if we can get maybe our whole guarantee value. Here we go. Okay, so we didn't. But still a cool pop. This is the Red Genie, uh, Red Jafar Genie. Um, I do have this one already, and I also do have the Chase. Um, the Chase of this is the same exact pop. It actually does glow in the dark, um, which is a really cool uh, Chase for this one because uh, Genie does glow in the movie. So the glow in the dark pop was actually, or glow in the dark Chase was actually fitting for this one. Uh, still a really cool pop. I wish they would have done this one um, as a six or ten inch one, just because he was so big in the movie. Um, Again, Funko should do more of the pops that belong or should be 10 inch pops instead of just making everything a 10 inch pop. Um, this one I think would be really dope as a 10 inch, but um, don't make it now, Funko's too late. <laughs> so there you go, that's the Red Jafar Genie. I don't believe this one's really expensive. When I got it, I got it on the clearance and um, got the chase actually the first time I pulled or got it online, but I don't think this is that expensive. Uh, this pop is eight bucks, which isn't bad. So. Uh, $28 so far, uh, we have $7 to go, so I think we're doing really well, and got four more chances to get a grail. So, let's see if this is the grail, let's pull number three. Oh, shoot. I didn't know these pops existed. Oh, wow, this is Optimus Prime from Transformers. That is really dope. This is retired on the back right there, as a $30 price tag, so maybe it's that price or more. We'll check. Um, but yeah, this one is a... Wow, I didn't know this existed. I'm really happy about this. This uh, pop series has the Autobot drip and also Bumblebee back there. I wonder why they don't have Megatron. That'd be a really dope pop. Uh, but Optimus Prime is a really cool looking one. And uh, I'm surprised I didn't know they had this. Um, that's the benefit of these mystery boxes. You always find things you didn't know existed. And Optimus Prime is definitely that. Um, unfortunately though, it's only $16 in the Funko app. So whoever was trying to charge $30 was taxing. Um, but $16 is still good, and this is a vaulted pop, so it is a, a grail to me. You guys know I love the vaulted pops, just because I know um, they're not going to make it anymore, and I uh, got something exclusive. So, I love the vaulted ones. Optimus Prime is an extremely iconic and dope character, and uh, he actually looks pretty decent in pop form, even with those uh, pop eyes. But, still a cool one. Third pop in this box is, so far, my favorite, the Optimus Prime. All right. So halfway through and we already got our guaranteed value and then some and some cool pops. So 
Let's see what this la oh this, this fourth pop is. Oh, oh wow. So this is Jabberjaw and actually has the con sticker. That is really dope. So this is a New York City Comic Con Jab uh, Jabberjaw. This is from last year, 2018. Um, I did get this one last year, but then I actually traded it to my neighbor because he wanted it. Uh, but I didn't have this the con sticker, so now I'm glad I have this back. Life comes full circle, and I have the con sticker now. Uh, I do love these old Hanna Barbera um, cartoons. Um, Jabberjaw was, uh, you know, a good one, and uh, he again is an iconic figure we all grew up with, parents grew up with, and uh, like I said, 2018 New York City Comic Con. This one's going for eleven dollars, which is kind of surprising. Um, let me check pop price guy just to be sure, because that con sticker, you would think he would go for more than uh, eleven dollars with the con sticker. It's fourteen dollars <laughs> on pop price guy, so this one's not incredibly valuable. I'm not sure why, just because. He was cool. I think he was a Funko Shop exclusive. Uh, yeah, Funko Shop exclusive. Um, but yeah, still a really cool one. I'm glad to have in my collection, even if it's 14 bucks. And that's the thing, you know, I uh, like the value. There's always good to have um, highly valued Funko Pops. But uh, if you don't like them, they're not worth as much to you. You know, uh, having a really expensive pop that you don't really know anything about. If the value ever plummeted, you know, you held on to something only because it's worth that. You know, it's nice to have a pop that you like and it's also valuable. But nonetheless, Jabberjaw's a cool one. So, number five. Number five. Oh, this box is full of things off my wish list. This is Popeye, the special T series Popeye with a spinach in his hand. Man, so I had this on my wish list. I've had this on my wish list for a long time, and I just never pulled the trigger on it. I don't know why. Uh, but like I said, this is a specialty series Funko Pop. It's got a little bit of damage right there, if you can, guys can see. It's got a crease uh, right there. You can see it a little better. Um, but nonetheless, I I grew up watching Popeye, thinking that spinach would actually uh, make you really, really strong. Uh, still kind of believe that in a way. Uh, maybe I just haven't eaten enough yet, <laughs> but. Popeye, you know, everybody knows Popeye. I think there's an olive oil pop as well. I need to get that. There is one. And uh, what was this the other guy? Brutus or something. I forget. The guy that always uh, kidnapped uh, olive oil. Having a pop of him would be dope as well. But let me check on this Popeye and see what he's worth. I don't think he was too, too expensive. I just haven't ever picked him up. Um, he's 16 bucks, so not too bad. Um, let me see, there isn't there isn't olive oil. Oh yeah, Brutus, I was right. So there's no olive oil pop, but if Funko, if you're watching this, make an olive oil pop. You definitely need an olive oil pop if you have Popeye. But there you go. Popeye the Sailor Man is the fifth pop from this box. Alright. So I think this box has had a lot of uh, really cool things, so hopefully we can end this on a good note. Number six. Who is this? Oswalt Cobblepot. That is the strangest name I've ever heard in my life. Oswald, Oswald Cobblepot. I would change my name instantly if my name was Oswald Cobblepot. I don't know anything about this guy, but I don't like him. <laughs> his, uh, his glass is broken. Somebody tried to break into his box. Um, he's just got an umbrella. I don't like Oswald. Let's just see what he's worth. <laughs> it's another Gotham pop. Um, I know that the Gotham Pops aren't worth too much money at all, uh, but let's check out and see what he's worth just to give him his fair chance. Oh, he's actually 16 bucks, which I think he's probably one of the more expensive vault uh, expensive uh, Gotham Pops. But he is vaulted, um, but he's got some damage on him. Um, if anybody's interested in Oswald Cobble Pops, uh, let me know because he's not going to stay very long in this house. So there you go. That sixth and final pop is Mr. Cobble Pops from Gotham. So, I like this box. All in all, I think I got some really cool ones, crossed a few things off the wish list, and also got that Optimus Prime that I didn't even know existed. So, really, really happy with that. Here's the total value of the Funko Pops right there. Drop down in the comment section below what your favorite one was from this box. If you've not already smashed that like button, hit that like button down below. Let me know you guys like this video. And if you've not already subscribed to my YouTube channel after you watch this whole video, hit that subscribe button down below so you join the community and part of this channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.